hello everyone this is akash here welcome to my channel so in this video i am going to talk about uh, the difference between continuous integration continuous deployment and continuous delivery so let's go with the agenda so today i am going to explain the continuous integration continuous deployment and delivery in such a way that you will never forget this in your life okay so let's not have any further delay and let's start with the first best practices that is continuous integration so what is continuous integration so if you go with the internet de definition so continuous integration is a software engineering practice in which frequent isolated changes are immediately tested and report on when they added to a larger code base so now let's cut this definition into part by part and explain you every bit of it with a real time scenario so this is the picture this is a pictorial representation of continuous integration so let's assume that you are a developer and you made a change you made a code change in your source java code in your java code and you pushed that particular change to the central source code repository okay so that source code repository might be github gitlab or perforce or anything anything okay so once that code has been pushed code which is updated in the repository okay so the ci server will pull that change and start running it so there are two parts of running uh, that is execution there are two parts of execution uh, will be performed okay so one thing is the continuous building activity and the continuous testing activity so you can see over here that we have built and then we have test so let's start i mean let's understand what do we do in the building activity uh, so as part of the build activity we will use any build tools to accomplish this step okay so for example like maven gradle and all these are like build tools okay so once the build activity is done the code will further used for the unit test as well as integration test which is like written to test every line of the code okay so whether all the functionality in the java class is working as per the expectations or not so all these things will be tested over there so in the case of java you might be running the jacoco that is your java code coverage so this is used to check the percentage of code being covered as part of the unit testing okay so and then you might also have a predefined framework which will tell you that which will tell you the success rate of your code unit testing so if your code unit testing success rate is more than 90% then it will set then the ci server will send an email notification to the developer with the required build artifacts which will be further used for deployment activities okay so now let's just understand from the developer perspective if they have to do all these activities manually it is going to be a very tedious task right so hence ci will help the continuous integration will help you building and testing your code every time the developer checks in the code change in the source code repository this is a best practices which will be automated every time the developer makes a change okay so this is all about continuous integration okay so the next thing is continuous deployment and continuous delivery so all these days people are always confused between all both both this definition that many people uh, use continuous deployment and they call it as continuous delivery and many teams used continuous delivery and they still call it as continuous deployment so these two are two different uh, entity okay these two processes are completely different uh, so let's understand step by step let's go with the definition what is written in the internet so in continuous deployment every changes goes through an automated pipeline and a working version of application is automatically pushed to the production the below diagram is for the continuous deployment and the above one is for the continuous delivery so let's start with the continuous deploy deployment first so again th this is also a software engineering practice so the first two steps is build and test these are the same step which continuous integration as part of the continuous integration where like the moment developer will make a change the code will go for the build activity and then it will the unit and integration test will be performed so once this is done the code package so you will get a code package right that once the build activity is done uh, your code will be packaged with all the libraries and binaries and it will be packaged and it will be sent for the acceptance testing so in this step your code artifacts or package will be tested with respect to performance code duplicates code vulnerabilities all the security aspects etc okay so once we are fine with everything i can say that my code is now ready to be shipped but not directly 
to the production okay so you can understand that we cannot directly push the code to the production without testing it to without testing in the local environments though your code uh, doesn't have any issue but you might be into integration related issues okay so hence always we have to check in the staging areas first so once it will be passed to the staging it automatically goes and gets deployed in the production and once the production gets completed we will just run some automated smoke test to test the imp important functionalities like in the case for example if you take the case of uh, amazon.com let's assume amazon.com is our project and so in if amazon is our project we will check the login functionality uh, whether i'm able to add product in the cart or not whether the checkout uh, functionality is working properly or not so all this activity activity will be done automatically in the case of continuous deployment so for example all this uh, smoke testing will be done via automation using selenium or qtp or any other tools so so all these stages like from build till the smoke testing in the in the case of continuous deployment will be done automatically there will not be any manual intervention okay so now let's go to the continuous delivery so continuous delivery is again a similar process where almost all the processes are automated but there will be a manual approver before deploying deploying anything any feature change to the production okay so now i'll tell you why we do this okay so there are companies um, there are companies where not all their services are running with zero downtime so um, i mean all these companies take their own feasible time when their usage of the product is less for instance if most of the customers for that particular product is from usa they will use the time to deploy and deploy the feature chain into production when the entire country is sleeping okay so again i mean uh, they will also update in their slack channel the jira blog as a notification to all the customers and client if they are using the products so that there might be a downtime on their services as we are upgrading so please expect the issue to be fixed in a given timeline for example 4 to 5 hours or so so i mean that's how they maintain that's how the processes are being used so not all the companies can use continuous delivery and not all the companies can can be used as continuous deployment for example if you talk about amazon or facebook.com if you talk about amazon only so amazon run a deployment every 10 second okay so amazon can't even think of uh, managing their applications using continuous delivery because uh, they they run a deployment every 5 to 10 second so they have to stick to automation so that's the major difference between continuous integration, continuous deployment and continuous de delivery. Hope you have understood with these examples. Please let me know in the comment section if you want to understand anything more than that. Uh, so that's all for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.